five. You guys have been here before, and now it's just how you finish this thing, right? Yeah, I mean, we got a, a good bye week, timely bye week for us. Uh, rest up, get healthy, improve, uh, get Delaney back, get Jarrell back, get our guys back, and uh, get ready for an important stretch here. A lot of division games coming up, and obviously it's all about how you finish in this league, and the, the finish is near, so uh, I think it's a perfect bye week for us. You, you, I know you got to take them one at a time, but you also know what you got to do. There's not a lot of room for error the rest of the way. No, not for a lot of teams, just playoff seating and stuff like that. Uh, we gotta, we're going to have to go out here and uh, play well against Jacksonville. We know Foles is going to be coming back, and um, be a good test for us, but like I said, we got to improve on the film. wasn't perfect defensively, but we'll take the win. The offense uh, helped us in a shootout, and uh, they said it'll be games like that. We harped on how well the defense was playing all year and helping the offense out. The offense helped us out last game, and hats off to them. We always say that's this league. And when you look at the Falcons beating the Saints and the Dolphins going to Indy and winning, so when we say, well, you're going to have to do this, we don't know what you guys are going to have to do. Yeah, right? every game is different. Every game has a different identity. And uh, every team is, believe it or not, every team is good. Every team has players that are good that can, that can make game-changing plays. So not every team is good, but every team has really good players that can make a difference. And that's what they're paid to do. So um, I'm excited to go into this bye week with a win. That's always better. And uh, get ready to rest up and, and uh, play a lot of snaps these first, first couple games. So we have to give my body a little break. Defensively, you guys are getting your hands on a lot of footballs, whether it be pass breakup or trying to strip it out of there. How much is that? It's our ball, culture yeah. taking over this defense. And the, I mean, turnovers. Our offense, every time we get them turnovers, they score. And we were able to score defensively, which I was great. But every time we get those guys and get those guys the ball and a turnover, they score. And that's a big harp. I think you see us punch. I think I got bloody knuckles from punching so much, uh, punching the ball and uh, trying to get interceptions and tipping the ball up. So that's how we that's how we try to be disruptive. Defense not always going to be perfect on defense, but if you can get those turnovers, that definitely helps. Your past defenses are are pretty high. I think you had nine a couple of weeks ago, and I don't know what the number was yesterday. Yeah. But the, you, you guys are stripping quite a few of those out of there. Just playing hard. i am tell you that I'm playing the hardest I've ever played in my career, really locked in on leading this defense and leading this team and um, trying to get us back to the playoffs. So uh, whatever it takes, I wish I could catch them. Instead of knocking them down, I'll take that all day. But uh, whatever it takes uh, to get off the field and get our offensive ball, I'm willing to do. You talk about getting guys back after the bye week, but you're not getting Malcolm back. How do you think you yeah. guys did rallying around uh, his absence? Yeah, Malcolm was there, uh, and uh, it was cool seeing him, and he's in good spirits, obviously. But uh, a guy like Malcolm going down gives a guy like LaShawn an opportunity. It gives a guy like Josh Kalou active on the roster. He makes a game-winning field goal block. So that's how this league works. That's how we talked about. Uh, Malcolm's still there. He's one of our brothers. But it gives these younger guys, these other guys, a shot. And uh, they're doing well with it. They're playing hard, and uh, we got to win for Malcolm.